टू एंड थ्री आर द मैक्सिमल एलिमेंट बिकॉज एन एलिमेंट इज नॉट रिलेटेड टू एनी अदर एलिमेंट सो दिस टू इज नॉट रिलेटेड टू द नेक्स्ट एलिमेंट सो यू कैन रिमूव दिस सेल्फ लूप दट इज रिफ्लेक्सिविटी and you can remove the transitivity and this f is related to d and f is related to e also we have to remove the reflexivity transitivity and anti symmetric property while drawing the hasse diagram hello everyone welcome back my dear students i am shweta computer science faculty vidyashram college mysore In my last session, I have discussed about partial order. So, what is partial order? If a relation can satisfy transitive, reflexive, and anti-symmetric property, means then we can call it as it is a partial order. And also, I have discussed Hasse diagram in partial order. So, today I will discuss the problems on Hasse diagram. So, let's get started with an example problems. So here I have one poset. Poset stands for partial order set. First question: Let a equals one, two, three, six, nine, and eighteen is divisible. Draw the Hasse diagram. All these elements are a given set of. So have to consider the set of elements. So it should be divisible. And we have to draw a Hasse diagram. So, what is the procedure we have to follow for drawing the Hasse diagram? So, first step we have to draw a digraph, and the next step is we have to remove the self loops, and in the next step we have to remove the transitive property, and in the next step we have to show the elements in a upward direction. In the last step, we have to remove the haroids in the element. So easily we can draw the Hasse diagram by using these procedures. So now here we have one poset. So how to draw a Hasse diagram for this poset? So first I will write the relation. R is one can divide two, three, six, nine, and eighteen. One can divide one, two. One two three, one two six, one nine and one eighteen, and next element is two. Two can divide six, and two can divide eighteen, right? And the next element is three. Three can divide three, and the next element is two. Two can divide two. Two can divide six. And it can divide eighteen also. And the next element is three. Three can divide three, and three can divide six, and three can divide nine. Three can divide eighteen. And the next element is six. Six can divide six, and six can divide eighteen. And the next element is nine. Nine can divide nine, and It can divides eighteen also, and the last element is eighteen. Eighteen can divides eighteen. So these are the relations for a given poset. These are the relations I have written for the given set of elements. So now you have to remove the transitive property. So now for this relation you have to remove the self loop. Self loop. and you have to remove the transitivity so self loop means it is 1 1 2 2 3 3 9 9 18 and 6 6 so you can remove this self loop that is reflexivity and you can remove the transitivity i will show you one example example i will consider the first element 1 to 2 And two to six, obviously one to six. One to one to two. One belongs to two, and two belongs to six, and one is also belongs to six. So you can remove this one comma six. Next element is one to three, and I will take nine. One belongs to two, and 
3 belongs to 9 is there and obviously 1 belongs to 9. So, I will cancel this 9 also and again you can consider the elements and you can cancel all the transitivity and how to draw a Hasse diagram for this. The first element is 1 and after that we have 2 and 3, 1 can divide 2 and 3 also and next element is 6, 2 can divide 6, 3 can divide 6 also and the next element is 9, 3 can divide 9 and the next element is 18. So, 6 can divide 18 and 9 can also divide 18. So, this is your assay diagram. With the help of this given set elements, you can draw a assay diagram. So, before that, you just write the relations for the given elements and you can draw a assay diagram. This is your 5 marks or 7 marks question. Easily you can score on this topic. And the next problem we have. Draw a Hasse diagram for D12 divides. D12 divides. Explanation they have given here. D12 means set of positive integers, divisors of 12. Set of positive integers, divisors of 12. So, which are the elements? It should be divisible by 12 and it should, and it should be positive values. So, example d12 is equal to set of positive integers. It should be divisors of 12. So, we have 1 can divide 12, 2 can divide 12, 3 can divide 12 and 4 can also divide 12 and 6 and 12. So, this is your set elements. 1 can divide 12, 2 can divide 12, 3 can also divide 12. 4, 6 and 12 can divide 12. So, these are the set of positive integers divisors of 12. So, first you have to write the set elements. Then we can draw a assay diagram. So, already have written the relation for this set elements. So, 1 can divide 2. So, you can use this symbol also for representing the relation. It is partial set order. So, 1 can divide 2. 1 can divide 3. 4, 6 and 12. Again 2 can divide 4, 2 can divide 6 also and 2 can divide 12. And again 3 can divide 6, 3 can divide 12. And 4 can divide 12 and 6 can divide 12. So, these are the relations. So, next you can draw a assay diagram. So, now I will draw a assay diagram for this. So, first element is 1. And the next element is 1 can divide 2 and 1 can divide 3 also. And we have 4, 2 can divide 4, 2 can divide 4 and the next element is 6. 3 can divide 6 and 2 can also divide 6, right? Next element is 12. So, 4 can divide 12. And 6 can also divide 12. So, this is your Hasse diagram. I will repeat. So, I will start from the first element. So, 1 is the first element. And the next element is 2. 1 can divide 2 and 1 can divide 3 also. And the next element is 4. 2 can divide 4. And the next element is 6. 3 can divide 6 and 2 can also divide 6. And the last element is 12. So, 4 can divide 12, 6 can also divide 12. So, this is your Hasse diagram for the given set elements. It is very simple concept. Please apply the rules. We have to remove the reflexivity, transitivity and anti-symmetric property while drawing the Hasse diagram. So, here we have poset, poset A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 12, 18 and 24 and it is divisible. First find the relations and you can draw a Hasse diagram. So, first I will write from the lowest value it is 1 and 1 can divide 2 and 3 and we have 4, 2 can divide 4 and the next element is 6. 3 can divide 6, 2 can also divide 6. 
and the next element is 8. So, 4 can divides 8. The next element is 3. 3 can divides 9. Next element 12. 6 can divides 12. 4 can also divides 12. 6 can divides 12. 4 can divides 12. And 18. Next value is 18. 6 can divides 18. 9 can also divides 18. And the last value is 24. 8 can divides 24. And 12 can also divides 24. So this is your Hasse diagram. I will repeat. 1 is the lowest value. 1 can divide 2. The next element is 3. 1 can divide 2 and 3. And the next element is 4. 2 can divide 4. And the next value 6. 2 can divide 6. 3 can also divide 6. And the next value is 8. 4 can divide 8. And 9. 3 can divide 9. And the next element 12. 4 can divide 12. 6 can also divide 12. And 18. 9 can divide 18. 6 can also divide 18. And the last element 24. 8 can divide 24. 12 can also divide 24. So this is your has a diagram. In relations, we will get the self-loop and transitivity property. So I have removed everything. I have drawn the as a diagram. It is very simple concept. Please understand the concept properly. You can also draw a Hasse diagram. The next topic is elements of poset. Very important concept. In elements of poset, we have two methods that is maximal element and minimal element. What is this maximal element and minimal element in poset? An element is not related to any other element is called maximal element. So what is this maximal element? An element is not related to any other element. So here 1 is related to 2 and 1 is related to 3. But 2 is not related to 1, 3 is not related to 1. Then we can call it as it is a maximal element. 2 and 3 are the maximal element because an element is not related to any other element. So this 2 is not related to the next element. So this is called as maximal element and no element is related to an element. So here this 1 is called as minimal element. No element is related to an element. So this is called as minimal and maximal element. Next, I will explain with an example. You have one note. There can be more than one maximal or more than one minimal element in Hasse diagram. So, sometimes we will get more than one maximal element or more than one minimal element also. So, here I have two maximal elements but I have only one minimal element. Sometimes you will get more maximal or more minimal elements also. So this element is called as minimal element. With the help of this minimal element, it's connected to the next maximal element. This is called as the minimal and this is maximal elements. And we have another definition for maximal and minimal element. So maximal means greatest element if it exists is the element succeeding all other elements. So greatest element. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here in this Hasse diagram the maximal elements are 4 because it is not related to any other elements and maximal element is 3 because it is not related to any other element or greatest element is the element succeeding all other elements. So here we have one successor for 4 and we have one successor for 3. For this maximal element we have one successor that is the lowest value. And for 4 we have one successor that is the least value compared to the highest value. So the greatest element is the element succeeding all other elements. Compared to this successor values the maximum value should be higher. Then we can call it as it is a maximal element and least element is the element that precedes all other elements. So least element for this maximum value is 1 and the least element for this maximum value is 2. 
So these called as minimal values. I will explain with an example for maximal element and minimal element. First example. So this is my Hasse diagram. A, element B, element C and element D. Here we don't have any numbers for finding the greatest element and lowest element. We have letters A, B, C, D. So how do you find the maximum value and minimal value? So here you have to apply the first definition that is the element is not related to any other element called as maximal element. So these two are the maximal elements and this is minimal element. Lowest element is called as minimal element. And the next example, this is one asset diagram here A, B, C, D, E and F. Here how will you find the maximal value and minimal value? The elements which is not related to any other element is A and it is not related to any other element. But this D and A is related to B, right? And this F is related to D and F is related to E also. So we are not supposed to consider these are the maximum value. The element which is not related to any other element is A and C. And this is minimal element. And these are the maximal element. You can write this examples for maximal element and minimal element. Next I will explain one more example for maximal and minimal element. Determine all the maximal and minimal elements of the post set whose assay diagram is shown in figure. So this is your assay diagram. You have to find the maximal and minimal element. So what is maximal? The element which is not related to any other element. This is F. So F is maximal element and this B is also maximal element. It is not related to any other element. And D and E is my minimal element. So maximal elements are B and F. The minimal elements are D and E. So this is maximal and this is minimal element. I hope you have understood the concept very well. Please practice the problems and understand the concept properly. You can find out the maximal and minimal elements in assay diagram. So today you learned the basic concepts on maximal element and minimal element and how to draw a assay diagram also. Please practice all the problems. Watch all the YouTube sessions. You can understand the concept very well. In my next session, I will discuss another Hasse diagram problems. Thank you.